During a trip to Africa in 1995, a future saint made a profound statement. Pope John Paul II said, the peoples of Africa respect the life which is conceived and born. They rejoice in this life. They reject the idea that it can be destroyed even when the so-called progressive civilizations would like to lead them in this direction. Culturally, we value life and we look at uh, children as a blessing, as a sign of prosperity. Dr. Joki Fernandez is an obstetrician and gynecologist from Nairobi, Kenya. Her office is connected to a Catholic shrine in the African country where she gives medical care from a Catholic point of view. But she says in Africa, it's not just the Catholic church or faith-based groups that protect unborn life, it's the culture. Yes, we fiercely protect our own and we really look after our children. Fernandez describes a continent that is generally opposed to abortion. In Africa, yes, we are very accepting of life and we celebrate new life and women who are expectant are very highly revered, you know, because you're carrying life. Take a look at the laws. There are more than 50 countries in Africa. According to the Center for Reproductive Rights, only five allow abortion on request. And even some of those have gestational limits. But the vast majority of African countries ban or restrict abortion. There are some exceptions for things like rape, incest, and protecting the life or health of the mother, but compared with other regions around the world, Africa has far greater abortion restrictions on the books. In my country, Nigeria, abortion is illegal. And on one global stage, Africa is taking a stand for life. At the United Nations General Assembly in New York this month, a resolution passed defining abortion as an international human right. It was supported by more than 80 countries around the world, including the U.S. and members of the European Union. But the proposal was objected by a number of African countries led by Nigeria. We should not be creating new rights in international law. The abortion is a subject to be dealt with exclusively in national legislation. Listening to Africans, you may find abortion advocacy isn't homegrown on their continent. It's coming in from outside. We're not happy when there's a conspiracy from the West. A practicing lawyer in Nigeria, Sonny Akwosi, is active in the country's pro-life movement as a director of the Foundation for African Cultural Heritage. He led efforts earlier this year to protest an abortion directive proposed by the government in Lagos, a state in Nigeria. The directive was ultimately suspended by the governor in Lagos, but Ekwosi says it received backing from Marie Stopes International, a pro-abortion organization with headquarters in London, and the Population Reference Bureau, a nonprofit with headquarters in Washington, D.C. Ekwosi says the promotion of abortion in Africa is planted by the West, an abortion agenda. When we get this message from the West, we are surprised that, you know, that uh, they are trying to... Um, you know, uh, impose something strange on us because culturally speaking, it doesn't conform to our culture. His words sound similar to what Pope St. John Paul II said and something Pope Francis has spoken out against, ideological colonization, a phrase the Pope has used to describe Western secular principles being imposed on developing nations around the world. And he has vocally opposed abortion throughout his papacy. The Holy Father has made multiple trips to Africa. The Catholic faith is growing rapidly on the continent. But Dr. Joki Fernandez warns there is no guarantee pro-life values will stay rooted. Slowly, slowly with the newer generation of educated Africans, then we're getting this acceptance of abortion, but something that was not, not imagined, you know, a few years ago. She believes globalization and social media continue to introduce anti-life concepts to younger generations. But hope remains. The Catholic Church in Africa is active in health care and in education, two areas that Fernandez and Aquosi believe impact the culture, one that historically has valued life conceived. We remain strongly uh, pro-life because uh, it's in the culture of the people. Mark Irons, EWTN News In-Depth.